welcome to gpet explorer in this lesson i would like to discuss about chemistry of penicillins now first say what is the chemical structure of penicillin this is the basic structure of penicillin and you know for penicillin g for penicillin g this r is benzyl group r is benzyl group now you know penicillin it's a beta lactam antibiotic what is beta lactam antibiotic those antibiotic which have beta lactam ring within its chemical structure and in this penicillin this is this is beta lactam ring and this ring is thiazolidin ring so what is actually basic structure of penicillin the penicillin it's a bicyclic system where the beta lactam ring is fused with five membered thiazolidin ring now this is important you will find questions like this that in case of penicillin beta lactam ring is fused with you will have four option and the right option will be thiazolidin ring now let have a look about the iupsc nomenclature for this penicillin starting from this bicyclic system that is that is this so this is a bicyclic system if you number this ring this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and this this is four thia four Thaya one edge, four thaya one edge, bicyclo, by cyclo from this junction, this side you have one, two, three atom and here one two atom so bicyclo three two and here there is no atom so zero four thaya one as a bicyclo and seven member that is heptan this is the basic ring structure of penicillin now if you add if you add 7 oxo and 2 carboxylic acid and 2 methyl group at this position the nomenclature will be 3 3 3 3 dimethyl 7 
ऑक्सो फोर थाया वन एज अ बाइसाइक्लो थ्री टू जीरो हेप्टेन टू कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड ओके एंड यू कैन नाउ नोमेन क्लेचर बाय एडिंग दिस सब्सटीट्यूशन एट पोजिशन सिक्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द सब्सटीट्यूशन यू कैन नोमेन क्लेचर दिस पेनिसिलिन डेरिवेटिव नाउ If we analyze the structure of penicillin, what the different things you will find within its structure. Now, one thing you will find that another you already find that in case of penicillin, the beta lactam ring is fused with five-membered thiazolidin ring. Again, if you analyze this structure, you will find. If you cut the structure by this way, you will find that not here, it is here. You will find that NH, CH, C double bond O, again CH2. SH and here you will find CH CH3 CH3 CH COOH NH2 this is OH now you will find two amino acid residue so what are those two amino acid residue this is cysteine and this is called valine residue so what actually suggest this thing suggest that this penicillin molecule is derived from Two amino acid that is cysteine and valine. So you can say that biosynthetic precursor biosynthetic precursor of penicillin is cysteine and valine and Another thing you will find that in case of penicillin, one acyl side chain. So this portion is derived from cysteine and valine. So how this portion is derived? No, this acyl side chain that depend on the component of the fermentation medium this acyl chain that depend on the component of fermentation medium of fermentation fermentation medium say for example if you use the corn strip liquor actually this medium was used first for the production of penicillin G and this medium contain high level of high level of phenyl acetic acid phenyl acetic acid 
phenyl acetic acid that means acetic acid that is CH3COOH COOH here CH2 1 phenyl group is there so phenyl acetic acid and with this fermentation medium you will find that benzyl you will find the benzyl penicillin you will find the benzyl penicillin where the r group is for benzyl penicillin this r group is this again if you say the another fermentation medium that contain phenoxy that contain phenoxy acetic acid that gives you phenoxymethyl penicillin and that is known as penicillin V. Now, so this penicillin that is beta lactam ring fused with thiazolidin ring and another acyl side chain is present here acyl side chain is present here the important thing of this structure that is the presence of two carboxylic acid two carboxylic acid group now these two carboxylic acid group may form salt with sodium and potassium and this salt is water soluble now if you see this salt the salt are crystalline the sodium and potassium salt of penicillins are crystalline soluble in water the important factor for this that is in solid state in solid state the compound is stable but rapidly hydrolyzed in solution and this in solution this penicillin salt is stable at pH 6 to 7.2 and below this pH and above that pH the penicillin in solution rapidly hydrolyzed and deactivates and deactivates another important thing of penicillin particularly for penicillin G penicillin G this is acid labile this is acid labile and this is easily destroyed by gastric acid which actually present in our stomach which actually present in our stomach so penicillin we cannot use orally because if we take penicillin orally it will deactivated by gastric acid by gastric acid and that is why the penicillin G particularly is always administered parenterally 
right so this is about the chemistry of penicillin